We live in a culture where excess is everything. Excess is everything. You know, I, I find this gospel so refreshing because it tells us that as we prepare to do the work of the Lord, we don't need the, the bright lights and the smoke and even the praise band following us as we go to proclaim the good news of our Lord, of our Savior, Jesus Christ, as we go to do the work of him. And Jesus is so spot on in this gospel when he's speaking to us because he's telling me, you don't need all these things that you think you need to do my work. You don't need that second tunic. You don't need to pack that big, huge bag of clothes. And I'm so talking to myself when you have to go on vacation. <laughs> you don't need to overpack. You don't need to worry about that walking stick. You don't need to worry about that sack. Don't worry about that food. Don't worry about that money. I will provide. You see, when we go forth and we share the word of God, what should we bring with us? First and foremost, we should bring the word. That's Jesus Christ himself. And I think that's what the Lord is really trying to hit home today. We need to share him. But also, I want to take that a step further. Share how he has worked in our lives. You know, that's oftentimes the biggest testimony that we have is how the Lord has moved us, how the Lord has called us, how the Lord has, has given us gifts, how the Lord has helped us through the difficult things that we've experienced in life. Through the death of a loved one, through the losing of a child, how the Lord continues to help us share that story. You know, St. Paul says, my grace is sufficient and we should rely on that. And so as we come together as a family of believers this morning, we ask our Lord, we ask God the Father, Lord, thank you for the great gift of sending your son to die for us. Thank you for allowing us to be in relationship with you through Jesus Christ. May we never forget the great gift of that relationship. May we continue to grow in that relationship. <clears throat> may we always be open to the Holy Spirit. And may we never take for granted <clears throat> that when we share how you work in our lives, Lord, that we don't need the smoke show. We don't need the bright lights. We just need to share you. May this Eucharist give us the grace today to go forth and do exactly that. Share you, Lord. Share you with those who don't know you. Share you with those who may have fallen away from you.